listed real asset comprise of uh, listed infrastructure and listed real estate. And it is a part uh, of the broader um, real asset platform within HSBC Asset Management. Um, real asset is one of the pillars of the alternative division. And uh, the alternative division is a strategic priority for uh, HSBC Asset Management in delivering a core and innovative solution to institutional and wealth clients that want to diversify and allocate more to alternatives. Listed infrastructure provides liquid exposure to core infrastructure assets. As any infrastructure investment, these are resilient and predictable investment from a cash flow perspective. The assets are supported by long-term contract and long-term regulation. And because of the contract structure and the regulation, these assets are also, can also preserve their value in real term because of the inflation um, edge. Besides the resilience and predictability, growth is another component uh, of investing in uh, listed infrastructure. If we think about three of the macro tailwinds impacting favorably the asset class, urbanization, decarbonization, um, and digitalization, uh, these are long-term drivers that are you know, supporting the investment in the asset class, and they are providing the growth at least for the next decade, as far as we are concerned. The challenges, clearly the interest rate environment, this is a long duration asset class, and therefore there is some sensitivity to interest rates, and volatility in interest rates is one of the biggest headwind to investing in, in listed infrastructure. We are convinced that it's going to be difficult to achieve decarbonization objective without uh, investing in infrastructure. If we think about utilities, um, replacing their existing uh, uh, you know, generation with the renewables, or the same utilities investing in transmission and distribution grid to accommodate the growth in renewables, or energy companies which are investing in technology for carbon capture. These are all required investments in the infrastructure sector that are aimed at progressively reduce carbon emissions in the next decades. The first advice is to understand that not all infrastructure assets are the same. So it's important for investors to understand what is the investment philosophy of the underlying manager to ensure that uh, uh, you know, there is alignment between uh, um, expectation and reality. Um, so that, first of all, is understanding the investment philosophy. Second of all, uh, is uh, the, time, the time horizon. Infrastructure investor investing is for long-term investors, um, and so it's important to embrace the asset class with a long-term investment horizon. And the last one is uh, particularly that's true for listed infrastructure. It's important to um, um, invest with active managers. Uh, this is an asset class where it's still um, opportunities to generate alpha exist. Um, often there are significant dislocation between price and value and embracing active investing when investing in infrastructure, in our view, is an important uh, advice to give investors. Uh, it was a good opportunity to meet uh, investors. It was a good opportunity to get to know new faces, new asset classes. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely a worthwhile coming.